morning guys. It is October 17th, 2013. I'm on my way to this job. I gotta winterize this house. Um, basically what they do is they go to the winter, they go to Florida in the winter time. And um, what I do is I go in there and blow all the, uh, blow all the uh, water lines out and antifreeze all the traps. This is a perfect example of a uh, where a heat pump up north is uh, practical. When they're just here, you know, during the summer and maybe here till Thanksgiving type of thing or end of October. Uh, there's heat pumps in this complex I'm going to, so I'm gonna get a shot of that. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go uh, show you guys, you know, how, how I winterize this house. I, every house is a little bit different how you winterize them. Depends on what they have for a heating system and a lot of things that come into effect when you got to winterize the house. But stay tuned and I'll go over it with you. There's no one there today so I can film this for sure. Alright, so that should be off. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go check it. Water meter down here. What I'll do is I'll disconnect it. Shut this off here. I got the water main off outside. I'll pull this meter off. Just make sure that it's not leaking by. Uh, shut off. That's what I'll do. I don't seem to be dripping at all, so I'll put this meter up here up high somewhere out of the way in case it floods. It's out of the way. I'll put it back in the spring. It's fine. Save the gaskets. Not two good gaskets. I'll put them right on the handle. I'll put new gaskets in come springtime anyway. So. Right, so that's off. And I'll shut this valve off just as a backup so they can't flood the house. <clears throat> it's off in the street, plus this is off. So then I have to winterize the house itself. First thing I do is I make sure that the water heater circuit's off. The electric water heater here. Alright guys, first thing I do is, um, you know, I shut the electric water heater off if it's electric. I shut the heat pump off and get my, my, uh, little pump set up here. I set it at about 60 pounds, so whatever's going out is no more than 60. Alright guys, what I'm going to do on this system is I'm going to take the shower head um, assembly off. I got this adapter right here, it's just basically a brass coupling. And then thread by hose adapter, and I could plug that right in. You know, I could take this off for different applications if I want. And that's got a hose in. This goes on to a hose. So for me, this is going to work out great because I have to put pressure on the hot water side. I'll show you why to get rid of the water in that water heater first, not just cold. So I'll be able to mix it, either hot or cold, through this valve, putting pressure into the system. I can adjust it hot or cold, yeah. Put it on hot. Alright, the reason why I have to go through the hot side, is you see this cold side I got off. You come down alongside the water heater here. There's a T down the bottom there before it goes into the drain, if you can see it. So if I went into the cold, it would just blow air right out 
the hose and it wouldn't blow the water out of the tank. So me doing it this way, I'm bringing air pressure into the hot side, top of the tank, and it's blowing it out the hose. This is kind of a rare setup, but this is the way this one is. My hose. Get rid, of, get rid of all the water like that. Once that hot water is all drained out, we'll do is we'll pressurize some. Um, Shut it off, pressurize the hot water side, and we'll go around and blow all the water lines out with the compressed air. Now obviously, every, every system's different. This one has a hot air system, so you don't have to worry about any kind of hot water in a um, heating system. You know, some of them have um, forced hot water, then you have to address that. You have to get all the water out of the house wherever it is water has to come out so doing it this way I'm blowing everything out with compressed air first all right once, it's, once I'm blowing all the water out of the hot water tank for us I'll shut the valves on the toilet off take the covers off put it in a safe spot where no one's gonna wreck it You got the got the valve off so no water pressure can come in. I'll dump the toilet and I'll pump out the residue with my pump. I'm gonna pump out what's in there with my pump. And I gotta pump out what's in there with my pump. And I'll pump it out as much as I can. And later, after I blow the air out, um, I'll dump any freeze in here. You gotta make sure you have that off. If not, there'll be air coming through. We want air pressure in the system for now. I got my little pump here. My little pump in there. Pump it in the bucket. system because if not it's going to freeze and split. So that's, the, that's the secret to winterizing a house. I'm not worried about that top over there because that's going to evaporate by the time it gets cold anyway so I'm not too worried about the water in the tank. There's nothing in there anyway. So, so this toilet is prepped ready to go. I'll show you what I'll do about it later. Alright, all the water's out of the tank now. Alright, so I shut the valve off down below there. I'm going to open up the cold. And I'm going to do is, compress air is going to pressurize this tank. Don't forget, I only got 60 pounds on that, so it's not going to blow anything up. Once I get pressure throughout the system, I'll go around and I'll open up hot and cold and blow all the lines out. Okay, next thing to do is go around and basically open up the faucets. You want to blow hot and cold out. Holes, everything. And I'll go around and do this to every faucet a couple of times so there's no more flow of any kind of water at all. It's going to take a while. Dishwasher, I'll run on a cycle. And they'll blow the hot out into here, and then we'll uh, winterize it. I'll show you how I'll take care of that. Refrigerator rice maker here. We're gonna plug this thing in. I'm gonna get the water out of that too. See if I get a cup here. And just you know, and it's gonna push all that water out. The air's gonna push all the water out. When it comes out all air, we're good. This thing was already, uh, that's another thing you gotta do is you gotta dump the refrigerator. You know, take all the stuff out of the refrigerator. After you unplug it, you leave the doors open. If not, it'll turn all black in there. Oh, 
can see the ears coming out. You just get the gist of things here. You know? It takes a while to go through everything. Pushing all the water out with that compressed air. Cold. Start spitting air. I'll go around for all the fixtures, let it spit, get all the most out of it, and I'll go around a second, maybe even a third time, make sure I get everything out. Remember I had this toilet valve off, now I'll open it, blow all the... Use the air, basically, make sure it's blowing any water out into the tank, it's all been pumped out already. Simmons valve, you want to make sure you get these diverters back and forth. You can also take these valves all apart if you wanted to. There's a diverter down the bottom there, you want to make sure you put a lot of air through this thing. Get it all out. Like I said, you're going to do it a couple of times, hot, cold. Better to do it three times and not have any water in the system and have a problem in the summertime when you come back. I always take my time and do them right. What I found with the kitchen sink faucet, the best thing to do is um, the spray. When I'm done, I'll unscrew this spray head. But I found if you don't, sometimes there's a water residue in there. So I'm getting better here. It's been the second time going around. Pretty much all air coming out now, so. I got the heat off, I got the heat pump shut off, I uh, got the water heater electric off, which is important. Okay, this thing is all stripped down, there's no ice in it, this thing's empty. What I'm gonna do is unplug it, I'm gonna leave the doors open. I'm gonna leave the doors open. If not, I'll get all moldy in there. A lot of times I'll put rags in here or something so nobody can come along and shut them. That's usually what I like to do. Take rags like this or something and stuff them in there. You know. I swear here they can't shut the door. It stays open a little bit. See it? Someone will come along here and think, oh, the doors are open. Let's shut them. We have a flipping mess. Come summertime. So, that's what I'll do. There we go, I wrapped the rags up in there and there's no way them doors can close. You can see they're open. It's right here. That's the way I like to do it. Alright, on the washing machine what I do is, um, I got the water hot and cold on here. Turn it on so it's gonna, you know, produce water. I go down through. It's blowing the air out. Blowing the air into the top here. Again, I'll do this a couple of times. I got all air coming out, no more water. 
All right, I've been through the house pretty much a couple of times. Now I'll do the uh, the dishwasher. Put the dishwasher in there. Put it on a rinse-only cycle. I'm just gonna blow all the, the water through the solenoid, blow air into this, and dump all the water into this container. And I'll show you what I do after with, with the antifreeze to get rid of that water. And as you do the dishwasher last, you know, give it a little time and then shut it off. Because if not, it's going to keep dumping the air, dumping the air. As long as you get all the water out, you're good. Yeah, this, this has got a high L heat pump on this setup. Should be up on snow legs, but whatever. I'm not really using it when it's snow on the ground, so. I'm 13 sear, high L heat pump. Alright guys, I'm down here at this air handler with a condensate drain. Basically what I'll do on this is I'll just dump some antifreeze in there. Minus 50 antifreeze until it pumps. Once it pumps, I know it's, you know, mixed with antifreeze and it's not going to freeze. I never had an issue with it, so that's what I'll do. See this line's turning pink. We'll be good to go. Down in a crawl space down here, a little GI hands and knees crawl space. And that's it there. I checked the filter last spring, it was fine. I'll check it when I come back. That's basically it here yeah, on that. That's how I want to rise those. Minus 50 antifreeze. Alright guys, on the irrigation system, I'm doing a manual, I wanted to go through the zones um, and blow the air out of the irrigation. Yeah. Blow all the air out. That one's good. So, we'll shut that one. That one goes to A. We'll, we'll do this one next. Whatever zone that is. Maybe one of the side zones. I'll go through the zones and um, give them a purge. And hear it now. Blow all the air out through the irrigation system. There's no chance of that freezing. Basically, I went around and did all the water already, so the irrigation is last. You know, and I'll go through all six zones on the irrigation manual. Alright guys, when it comes to antifreeze, what I'll do on a washing machine is, uh, I got this thing here, so it's basically, uh, you know, trying to run, so. I'll dump some antifreeze in here. Basically, what's going to do is I'm going to dump this, put it on cancel mode. And I'm going to dump all this antifreeze, you know, through the drain setup that's in this uh, dishwasher to get rid of all that, all that water, mix it with antifreeze first, okay? And what I'll do is I'll put it on a cancel cycle, reset, that's going to, that's going to turn it and dump, dump all the antifreeze. And the way this is set up here. This one dumps through the garbage disposal up top there. So that's going to flush all that out. Then when all that's done, um, now I'll winterize this trap. But do that first. I just fill up that bottom a little bit of antifreeze. Dump some in the tank there, on the toilet. Now obviously you go around and just put some in all the drains. Just the air coming out now, nothing but air. Do that in all the drains. Wash machine, same thing. I'll dump some in here. No 
gonna get this going. Now just get it to the point where it does a does a dump. Does a spin. That's gonna spin all that antifreeze and dump all that water out the hose. And that's gonna winterize that trap on the wall also. Alright, you see this wash is empty, it dumped. Went to its cycle. Now I can winterize this trap. And the garbage disposal because you know you don't want any, any problems. Double check, make sure the water's out. Sometimes you gotta go three, four times, man. It's not. You don't want any water in there at all. Alright, so all that antifreeze I dumped in there got, you know, mixed with the water and it got dumped out. You don't want to leave the antifreeze inside here, you want to dump it out. Best way. Alright, last thing I'll do is I'll shut the pump off. And I'll go around and open up all the faucets. And I'll do this one last, see if I have any residue inside that one. I hook it up, you know, blow it back this way. Then once everything's open, all the pressure's out of it, I'll, uh, like I said, I'll go around and I'll leave every faucet in the house open. So if there is any extra in there, Everything's gonna be left open. And open up the you know, there's one where the meter is. I'll open up that valve too. I blew that out already. But went around and winterized all the traps and the antifreeze. This I'll leave this open. So if there's anything in there, it'll dry. This wants to come off. You don't think Everything open. This has all been winterized. Traps, everything's done. Nothing can freeze. This has all been blown out with air. Uh, winterized inside here. This will stay open. That line's all been dumped out. That's done though. Uh, the irrigation system's been all blown out with air. So the bathroom, make sure everything's open. Valve. It's all open, been winterized. <clears throat> Same thing with this, it's been open, winterized, we're good to go. Alright, here's where the meter was, I took it out, put it up there like I said. This is the lowest part of the house. Open that up, there's a little bit of water coming out, not much, but we'll leave that open. So, you know, if there is any residue, shouldn't be, I blew it all out with air. I can't stress enough guys, you need to really take your time and go around. If you're going to do this procedure, is really do it three, three, four times. Go around after everything's done and make sure that there's no more water in the system. Because well, it takes a little bit and this house has no heat all winter. So I'm going to save them a ton of money on the heat, on the electric bill. That's pretty much it. I'll pick up my tools. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully you get a little something out of it and bore you to death here. Alright, thanks guys.